Welcome in, ladies and gentlemen. After a little prolonged break, we are finally back in action once again. Bracket play here for minor league teams. Welcome in, everybody. Jake Brandon alongside the man, the myth, the legend, hey. Wally K9 Castler. Let's go. And I need to crop the score bug again. Looks like we're getting Dawson Manuel, Matt Wilson, the janitor. Neil McKay and Derek, uh, can't see the last name. Derek something. We'll find Derek, out. Derek for Tiger. Derek for Tiger. For Tiger, let's go. I've seen him play before somewhere. Can't remember. He used to be a pro. That's a good shot. Way to start of this bracket. Eight six. Wow, already. Round number four. Yeah, just to uh, shrink the title on the tablet. Yeah. There you go. Aha. All right, welcome in everybody. I'm excited to see Matt Wilson play. One of the top elite level players in the world right now. Hard to give up too. It's always hard to give up points in round limited format. Sometimes you just have to do it though, man. You gotta sacrifice for the yep. for the long haul now that this is bracket play, single elimination. We'll get the brackets uh, out in a little bit. So let's see if I can find the score zone. We can tell you what teams this is. So this is the Rock Hill Coasters versus the High Point Coasters. So Coasters versus Coasters crime here in round number one. So Rock Hill is Dawson Manuel and Matt Wilson. The High Point Coasters are Neil McKay, Derek the Tiger. Rock Hill also has Kimberly Jenkins, Robbie Davis, Anthony Lorenzana, and Clayton Arch. High Point also has Holden Younce, Michael Grant, Kara McKay, and Mike Wright. So Dawson and Matt up 10-8, Holden and Michael up 13-0. So if that stays true... The third match between Anthony Lorenzana, Clayton Arch, Kara McKay, and Mike Wright will matter. The game has not started yet, 0-0. Zero, zero. Actually, it has. It's 0-0 zero, zero on round four. Wow. It's going to be a couple more, make it 14-8. to eight. These, these dudes have quick pace Flying, of play. yeah. Overall, number one team is Nick Gemetti's team. They have a bye. They're waiting to play the winner of the High Point Coasters and Rock Hill Coasters. And once, uh, once they input their schedule for the first, their lineup for the first game, we'll figure out what ta team it actually is. Four bagger for the janitor and a social. Let's go. That'll wake me up. I'm ready to go now. Chilling. Let's go. I need a drink of water. 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 Off to the left a little bit. Doesn't necessarily need to go after it. Oh, there's a little bit of help. I'm taking you guys between uh, Jake Brandon and myself playing some bags. Uh, Jake got the best of me there. I'm done. My energy levels have been exhausted. And Jake is finally starting to hit his groove. So I didn't see no chance. Good job, Jake. 
I felt good, man. I wish I could do that all the time. Yeah, I was uh, I was not checked in. <laughs> this is a long, long day for me. So we are reaching our number 15. It's like you look up at the clock, you're like, oh, 941, that's not bad. And but you then realize you, you've been here yeah. since 6.30 in the morning. Yeah, I woke up at 5.40. That's, uh, that's a long day. We'll see. There's nice collect. collect. Nice. This dude is so good. And another anything that he puts there, just driving right through it. Derek can't stop him, and that's the way to stop him. Apparently open board. Yep. And let the announcer talk good things, and the jinx will kick in. Man, that open board blocker really got to him. <laughs> Hoping he heard me, didn't hear me. What up, Curtis? Welcome in, man. We are here at the Highland Sports Center in Tridelphia, West Virginia. This is open number 11, day number one, broadcast number four, minor league teams bracket play. Dawson with a four-bagger will win it. A 10 will win it, too. And that is going to do it. Dawson Manuel and Matt Wilson get the job done for the Rock Hill Coasters. Unfortunately, currently, Kimberly Jenkins and Robbie Davis are down 15-4. to four, And there is no update on this match I got uh, Anthony Lorenz on it and Clayton Arch up 4-2 to two over Karen McKay and Mike Wright. Gotcha. So that will most likely be the deciding game. Yeah, that one's being played over on court 69. And then again, the winner of that match will play Nick Chimetti and his squad. So we're underway here, guys. Again, 15 teams in bracket play. So we'll have, well, looks like, one, two, three matches. And then the overall championship, probably play one at a time. So six total matches on a live feed. End things out. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. In the meantime, chat, grab yourself uh, your beverage of choice. Go visit Bust You Up Cornhole. Use that discount code WVA for 15% off. We'll see you guys in a little bit. What's up, guys? Welcome back in. K9 here in the booth by himself. Jake out there just having a good old time, having some fun, throwing some bags. I'll be over here slaving by myself, working hard. Trying to flex. Ain't nothing there. Ain't nothing there, man. He tried to look strong. It just did not happen. 
But Chad, that's what we got going on. The Albany Ringers are waiting for their opponent. Looks like it's going to be the High Point Coasters. Rock Hill Coasters fall 2-1 to one there. So once they submit their lineups, that match will get assigned. Not sure if it will be here or elsewhere. Other finals that have completed. The Palm Beach Freeze West over the Syracuse Ringers 2-1. to one. They will now take on the New Paris Spinners as the Hernando Sliders have been eliminated 3 to nothing. Down below, the New Jersey Wise Guys take down the Cleveland Aviators 2-1. to one, And the Fredericksburg Cutters eliminate the Philadelphia Ringers 2-1 to one as well. Our next match has been assigned. It's going to be the Cincinnati Aviators and the Worcester. I'm sorry, not Worcester. I say that all the time, Worcester. It's actually pronounced Worcester, Jake. Yeah. The Worcester Woodchucks. I say Worcestershire. Yeah, I think, I think it looks like Worcester to me. But Worcester just sounds like it's not good or it's Worcester. <laughs> I would avoid that. That was a good one, Wally. You're so funny. I try to be funny. When I grow up, I want to be like you. Let's go ahead and check up with the TikTok chat. Been a while since we checked over there. Uh, is drinking allowed? Absolutely. People are allowed to drink at a bar right in the center stage. Jake will get a camera on that and show you the setup we got here. It's pretty cool. Right there on the 50-yard line in the middle of this football field. Got to have the left-handed counterweight, Max says. You ain't lying. There's the bar. Fresh served beverages all day and night. Josh Christensen says, is a single or double elimination? This is single elimination. Angelica wants to really understand this game. Not a problem at all. Jake will take you through the rules real quick. Go ahead, Jake. Take her through the scoring and the rules, if you will. All right. As it works, you know, each bag in the hole is worth three points. Each bag on the board is worth one point. We do cancellation scoring. So if I throw all four bags in the hole, that's worth 12 points. If... Wally throws two bags in the hole and one bag on the board, which is what he's accustomed to doing. That's us. That's worth seven points. Twelve minus seven is five. five. So I would score five points in the round. First to twenty-one wins the game, and it does not matter if you go over twenty-one. There is no bust rule in the American Cornhole League. Jake has failed to mention that this is round limited format here. Oh. Two different styles of play. You can play to 21, but <laughs> yeah. this one here in particular is 10 rounds. So whoever's in the lead at the end of the 10 rounds, if you don't make it to 21, wins the game. Match up here should be a pretty good one. Colin Hodette and Keegan Langlois against Jacob Thompson and Alan Haldinger. Yep. Somebody just direct messaged me. Oh, nicely. Done. About the hot pocket debate. Hot pocket. Philly cheese is the goat. Philly cheese hot pocket. Delicious. I mean, obviously you can't compare it to a you I mean, an authentic Philly cheese steak, but here's it's the thing, good. man, is I have not had a really good Philly cheese steak from Philly yet, so like I I just need to know the spot to go to because in my opinion, it has to have a lot of cheese and a lot of flavor. That's fair. Because if I can go, valid. if I can go to a St. Louis Cardinals baseball game, and have the best Philly cheesesteak I've ever had in my life, I don't feel like that's the best Philly cheesesteak. There's got to be a better one out there. The St. Louis Cardinals baseball game should not be the best Philly cheesesteak in the world. That you know what I'm true. saying? Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. Uh, score still zero zero. Cobe, they're going uh, down and back, finishing off their down and backs now. There's a ceremonial knuckle taps as they punch each other in the fist. That means we are ready to fight. Test might. Winner of this gets the Fredericksburg Cutters. He's taking a step out. He's going after it. Slick side down. As he turns and looks at me as I'm talking. That one off the back. Keegan with the rule gets that one to go. And Lane is still there. And he knocks in the wrong bag. He is in trouble. 
This could be a huge seven spot to start. That one too far to the right. Ooh. It stays on the board, though. Is that a 10 on two? I think so, yeah. That is a yeah, 10 that on is two. Ocho. Did you go through the other matchups in this uh, Woodchucks versus Aviators matchup? I have not yet, but I was getting ready to. Go ahead. You want to do it? Go ahead. So for the Worcester Woodchucks, we got Navarro Dip and Chris Wagner getting ready to take on Carson Stevers and Chad Mayberry. We've seen both of those teams already on the stream. And then finally, Guy Quartrone uh -huh, uh -huh. and Travis Gello going up against Luke Yosick and Jacob Hickey. Those are like the other two matches. I feel like we should have had a little bit more fun with their team name. It's Guy Quarter One and Travis Jello. I feel like that's how it's pronounced. Quarter One and Jello. Quarter, quarter One and Jello. Yeah, yeah. That could be fun, right? And then they're playing Luke. Yo, sick. And Travis Hickey. Why is the color look so dim? Uh, I don't know. It looks good to me. Yeah. Turn the brightness up on your boat. Boom. Maybe. Or wherever you're watching. Way to go. Way to aren't go. You, aren't you eliminated? You guys won that? Oh, my bad. I apologize then because the score had a 2-1 uh, the other way. Way to go, Walter. I just read what's on the teleprompter, man. It ain't my fault. 2-1 to one in the other direction, so the Rock Hill Coasters take it down. Kimberly Jenkins holding out on me. All this valuable information that I could have used a second ago. Round number four, 10 to two here. Oh, man, hits the pile. Everything's kind of bunched right now. How will this play itself out? Oh, I think it's moving. Shoot it or roll. What do we got? His first shot was airmail. Hits oh. the pile. Gets two for one. I believe that backpack is going to go. Oh, my goodness, it does not. So I think he's getting out of that round with three. Making it 13 to 2 here in round number five. I don't see any other matches set up and going. The Hartford Woodchucks tie 13-13 uh, with the Charleston Aviators. Then they're down 15 to 10 and then up 7 to 3. So that's a pretty good matchup over there between Hartford and Charleston. Winner of that match will take on the New Jersey Wise Guys. Keegan trying to talk himself out. It's not bad. Jake will flip the cameras here in just a second. Yep. There we go. It's a lot. I still am. Nice roll from Colin Hodet. Ooh, another. Just absolutely no love around the hole for Allen and Jacob. It's unreal. I now mean, he, this time he has a chance, though. If this clogs, I'm just going to. Okay. All right, he got I it. Gonna say, I was just going <laughs> to quit if it clogs. But he is able to get all four of them to fall in that one shot right there. I believe we had a chance to look at Jacob out in uh, Ohio. He had a lot of TV time out there. Uh, did we, didn't we play against him in rounders or no? That's somebody else. We didn't play in Ohio. Not Ohio, Myrtle Beach. We played against the Neely team in Myrtle Beach and we beat them. That was um, later. No, that wasn't them. Man, I can't think who it was. Throw Brotherhood bags, that's all I know. Yeah. It was Jacob Garrison, right? Jacob. Yes. Yeah. And again, no love. Hits the airmail, gets a piece of it, nothing falls in. 14 6, eight point lead, three rounds remain. Are we only streaming on TikTok? No, I believe we should be live on Facebook and YouTube. We sure are. 
and ACL TV should be able to. We sure are. Put it up on your big screen and go there. We're getting YouTube chat conversations going. Not really. Nothing. What's up, YouTube? How you guys doing? Say hello. Say hello. Ricky's right. It was Jake. It was Caleb Chambers and Jacob. Jacob Garrison. Yeah, yeah. That Caleb Chambers. That's one I was trying to think of. Waxed him. <laughs> Two rounds remain. You need to score five each round or you're done. What's going on in the other three matches, Wally? The other two matches. My laptop died, so I've lost all my resources for the rest of the day. Got you. So Navarro Dip and Chris Wagner taking on Carson Stevers and Chad Mayberry. That score is five to three. They are in round number five. And it looks like Navarro and Chris are in the lead there. Luke Yosik and Jacob Hickey are down seven to two. Guy quarter one and Travis Jello in the lead. Yo, that's sick. Uh makes me want to give you a hickey, Jake. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry. Had to take a dip on that one. <laughs> uh because of Navarro Dip's name. <laughs> All right. We'll hold that, hey, we can go. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll hold that Jack till later. <laughs> Dang it, man. That's, <laughs> I was going to get it. Hey, are you from St. Louis or Lang Louis? All right, time for commercial break. <laughs> this one is over. We'll keep you guys updated as how this one plays out. <laughs> yeah, there it is. <laughs> All right, Jake's going to hit the tunes on the way out. Chat, we come back. More minor league teams action.
right, chat. Welcome back in. Waiting for the next match to get assigned to us. I just want to go over some scores real quick for you. Looks like Navarro Dip and Chris Wagner in the lead, 9-7 to seven over Carson Stevers and Chad Mayberry. The new Paris Spinners taking on the Palm Beach Freeze West. Cole Brewer and Sebastian Schaefer Ford in the lead, 9 to nothing over Fresh Scott and Josh Doty. Kevin Marsh and Rika Martinez tied 6-6 six to six with Chad Fisher and Brian Ardette. And Austin Rebelard and Brandon Patterson up 5-3 to three over Dangerous Danny Seals and Forrest Glogowski. So that means it's 1-1 one, one with that second game being tied. The Rock Hill Coasters taking on the Alber Albany Ringers. Anthony Lorenzana and Clayton Arch up 6-2 to two over Devin Mills and Lucas Householder. Kimberly Jenkins and Brandon Davis 1-0 over Zachary Lysdale and Nick Gemetti. Dawson Manuel and Matt Wilson 0-0 against Cameron D'Ambrosio and Austin Kippel. Couple of brackets of uh, blind draw action underway as well. How are those? Huh? Oh. I'll be, it'll be fine. Jake over here fighting with Pops about some AAR rippers. What do you say? Jesus. You say back to back tens? Yep. It's not good. He gone. He must be just as tired as we are. Probably. All right, let's refresh the bracket. See what we got going on here. Albany Ringers against Rock Hill Coasters. Palm Beach Freeze West against the new pair of spinners. Hartford Woodchucks taking on the New Jersey Wise Guys. And the Fredericksburg Cutters taking on the Worcester Woodchucks. So we'll take a break, chat. When we come back, we should be able to get one of those. Uh, we have a Pop Dart sighting. Dylan says, Where? I don't see Pop Darts. What up, Corn? Welcome in, man. Hey, Corey. Pop Darts. Where, where's Pop Darts? Like Pop Tarts, like the food, or Pop Darts, the game? The game. I love Pop Darts. I can beat you with that, too. No, you wouldn't. Oh. Put it on a list. I'm a G of Pop Darts. But all right, yeah, we'll take a quick break. When we come back, hopefully we get a match assigned to us. It looks like we're getting, whoa, 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 whoa. They pulled their way. We might be getting the Hartford Woodchucks and the New Jersey Wise guys. We'll see. Take a break. Be right back right after this. All right, welcome back in, everybody. We 
continue coverage of minor league teams here in Hi, Chicago. everybody. Jeff McCarriger here. Oh, Jeff. Hey, what's going on? Oh, my gosh. Jeff McCarriger, for some reason, drove all the way out to Tridelphia, West Virginia. Yeah, what's they're having a good time on, watching minor league teams, huh? All right. Oh, man. Hey, Jeff, who do you got in this game? We got some uh, woodchucks versus some uh, who we got going on over there? Uh, New Jersey wise guys, man, for sure. Wise guys. Whoa. Whoa. All right, I got to go. Bye. All right. Bye, Jeff. That was nice of Jeff to yeah, stop yeah. in and talk to you yeah. for a minute. I love Jeff. He's yeah. a great guy. Yeah. All right, good action here, though. Paul Hellman and C.J. Miller. It's Cal Davis and Marky Berry, Jr. Marky Berry. Water key berry. Nice rollover. This is that attempt. I think it was a roll. Too far to the left. Two nothing on the board. We're underway. We're underway. Yep. Other matches going on. Joe McGugan and Robert Rainier taking on Tom Collins and Jermaine Cooper. Mark Bullitt and Phil Lugo taking on Anthony D'Ambrosio and Ellen Futterman, or Alan Futterman. Word on the street, he's a professional foosball player. Nope. Ski ball player. There you go, attaboy. <laughs> Same thing. Yeah, pretty much. I'll tell you what, man. Tell me. I'm ready for bed. <laughs> yeah, I don't agree with you much, Jake, but I am on the same page. <laughs> if it wasn't for Jeff McCarriger stopping, and I probably would have fallen asleep there for a second. He brings so much energy when he hops on the mic, you know? He does, man. He does. He knows so much about Cornell, too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Very knowledgeable. Nice job. Kind of spins that right up in there. I wonder how I do commentating for only like two hours. You know, professional, two-hour com commentating. It'd be awesome. Yeah, the 15-hour uh, days, I don't know if Jeff can hang. I mean, he only popped in there for what? 30 seconds. 30 seconds, and he's out. Dylan trying to start a Facebook chat fight. Let's go. Uh-oh, what's going oh, on? Oh, no, you're saying this bag's better than that bag. Kimberly Jenkins and Brandon Ooh. Davis finish off Zachary and Nick Gimetti, 22 to 6. It looks like the new pair of spinners have advanced. They are waiting for either the Albany Ringers or the Rock Hill Coasters. We're losing Jake Brandon over here. No, he, I'm here. He not going to make it. He needs some milk. Oh, my God. He needs some milk. Get him some milk. Pushes into the pile, gets the pile to fall. Another side-by-side -side situation. Good nice roll. roll. Let's take a look at that one more again. It's a good landing spot, able to get the pop out of it. Good finish as it drips on the back. It's going to make it eight to four. Pagey in the check says, let's go, Marky. <laughs> Anthony D'Ambrosio and Alon Futterman off to a 10 nothing start for wow. Mark Ballett and Phil Lugo. New Jersey Wise guys putting themselves in good position. Joe McCookin and Robert Rainier in one nothing lead over Tom Collins and Jermaine Cooper. So they're in lead all three matches right now. 10-10, make a wish. I wish that I... Sorry, fell asleep. A little ASMR for you. Oh, yeah, love me some ASMR, baby. Yeah? Airmail off the back. See your brain turning over there, bud. <laughs> <laughs> uh, timeout. 
Let's see what he wants to do here. Rock Hill Coasters advance. Wow. So when I lied and thought they were eliminating round one, now they're one game away from the championship. They will take on the new pair of spinners. Should be a pretty good one. <laughs> I love that. We discussed the plan and you're like, oh, I'm going to try. I'm like, yeah, that's the point. <laughs> if you miss it, you miss it. At least you try. Hard tilt on that bag. Doesn't Ooh, cut around or roll. Yeah, I think if he hits the pile, that bag rolls like he wanted it to. Jake, do you know what ASMR stands for? Yeah. That's good. Very important. Yeah, I know. I know what I mean. Autonomous. That is a big time six spot. And that will make it 12 9. Maybe it was three. I don't know. <laughs> Same double. We're tired. We're tired, Chad. That's all there is. I don't know what's going on. We're fighting. We're fighting it. Appreciate you guys sticking it out with us, though. We will promise to bring the energy tomorrow. We'll get a bunch of sleep as they have rounders in the morning. And then we'll go live for doubles action tomorrow. I believe we got it set for 4 o'clock Eastern time. I believe so, yeah. Tune in on your favorite platform. But, I mean, we'll probably go. We'll have to we'll look through the, the matches because I know in, in Mesa we, there were some insane first-round matches, and we went we, we started a live stream early. So yeah, It is a pretty stacked too. field. Over 330 registered doubles teams. We're going to see what's going on. Let's go Chidwucks. Says Ghost Hunter in the YouTube chat. Okay. As long as it's not the Dallas Bowley Baggers. Dang. I'm going to chase as many accounts. Oh, oh wow. Nice that hit. was sexy. Sorry. <laughs> Settle down, Jake. I it is excited. after hours. I got excited. Well, I mean, Corey, if you're still in the chat, what, what did we call uh, What did we call it last last week in Mesa? After after hours, something like that. Canon after dark is what I used to call mine. Backside Dang. hit nicely done. Is that top ten worthy? We will see. Are you doing the show Tuesday? Um, what's today? The twelfth? What's tomorrow? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oh man, Jake breaking down the highlights for us. Let's see. What's the today's date? Seven, eight, March twelfth. Jake Brannon, Michelle Thompson, and Trey Ryder. I got two weeks. Let's take a look at these other scores real quick. See if that uh, will decide it. So it's 14 to 13 here. Paul and CJ take that one down. Looks like the New Jersey Wise guys in good position to advance. As Anthony D'Ambrosio and Ellen Ferdinand up 18 to 5 over there in their matchup. They're in round. Oh, it looks like that is over. So that's it. So yeah, the New Jersey Wise guys will advance. We're going to take a commercial break chat. When we come back, more minor league teams bracket action right after this.
All right, chat. What up? Welcome back in. Waiting for the next match to get assigned to us. Looks like the new pair of spinners and the Rock Hill Coasters are already underway. Cole Brewer and Sebastian Schaefer Ford. They are taking on Dawson Manuel and Matt Wilson. That score is tied 2-2. Two to two. Kevin Marsh and Rico Martinez taking on Anthony Lorenzana and Clayton Arch. The match will be played over on court 63. Nothing happening there just yet. Then Dangerous Dan Seals and Forrest Glogowski taking on Kimberly Jenkins and Robbie Davis. See Hunter Thorne and Jake Brandon here just kind of tossing around down and backs. Finishing up minor league teams here, 10 round limited format. Landon Bass and Josh Quinn in the lead, 18 to two over Keegan Langlois and Colin Hodet. Ian Johnson and Nathaniel Langley up 17 to nothing. Actually, that one is over. So 17 nothing over Navarro Dip. So Landon Bass and Josh Quinn putting themselves in good position for the Fredericksburg Cutters to advance. They will take on the New Jersey Wise guys. That'll be the next match here. Anthony Lorenzana and Clayton Arch in the lead, two to nothing over Kevin and Rico. And then Dangerous Danny Seals and Flores Glogowski taking the lead one to nothing over Kimberly and Robbie Davis. Pop Darts Games says dancing hard over here like I'm old in an empty house. Let's go. Vibing. It's only about 10 21 here, but again, started really, really early today. Trying to hang on to what little pieces of energy we have left as we only have a couple matches left on the live feed. Play the next match out, then I believe we'll play all three matches in the finals. We'll see how that goes based on the timing of the other brackets. But while they finish kind of messing around here, we wait for that next match to get finished. We're going to take a quick break. Be back here. More action at the Highlands in Tridelphia, West Virginia.
All right, Chad, what up? Welcome back. Matt still hasn't been assigned yet. Waiting for clarification on that. Give you guys some score updates, though. Dawson Manuel and Matt Wilson in the lead 10-4 to over Cole Brewer and Sebastian Schaefer Ford. As the Rock Hill Coasters are trying to advance to the overall championship. Anthony Lorenzana and Clayton Arch in the lead 8-7 to over Kevin Marsh and Rico Martinez. Dangerous Danny Seals and Floris Glogowski in the lead 9 to nothing over Kimberly Jenkins and Robbie Davis. So if those scores finish right there, then it looks like the Rock Hill Coasters will advance to the finals. Next match here on the live feeds, though, is the New Jersey Wise Guys and the Fredericksburg Cutters. They're submitting their lineups right now, and then we'll get that match pushed over here to the main court. After that, overall championships, we will play every single game in the championship. So two out of three format, we'll play every game here on the live feeds. And in a perfect world, game three will be the deciding game, and we will have a little bit of drama to finish out our Friday night. In the meantime, let me catch up with chat. What we got over here on TikTok? Um, Andrew says, will I broadcast Keegan and Colin? Um, I don't even remember what team they're on. But if it gets assigned to me, I will broadcast it. I don't really know who's on what team or where they're at in the brackets because team's a little hard to see. Over on Facebook, Lindy says, call foot foul on Jake. Jake is, he's a cheater, man. He is a cheater. Carson Getty has made his way to the building. Or Worcester, I believe Worcester's out. Yeah, they lost to the Fredericksburg Cutters 2-1, to one, so New Jersey Wise Guys will take on the Fredericksburg Cutters right now. And I believe that'll be on the live feeds. And then the winner gets either the Spinners or the Coasters. It looks like that first match is over. Cole Brewer and Sebastian Schaefer Ford fall to Matt Wilson. And Dawson Manuel, and then number two matchup, Anthony Lorenzana and Clayton Arch now in the lead 12-7 to seven as they enter the final round. That could pretty much seal the deal. Rock Hill Coasters look like they're on path to advance to the championship match. They came in as the nine seed, pulled off the upset over the eight seed. I'm sorry, no, they came as the eight seed. Finish off the nine seed, and then they pull off the upset over the overall number one seed, the Albany Ringers. And now the new pair of spinners, the number five seed, looks like they're going to fall as well. Well, looks like all those matches got assigned elsewhere. I'm going to go ahead and send a message real quick and see if we can get a match assigned to us. Probably just got auto assigned, but looks like their matchups are set. David Stone and Ryan Taylor to take on Joe McGugan and Robert Reiner. Anthony D'Ambrosio and Elon Futterman will take on Landon Bass and Josh Quinn. Then Paul Hallman and C.J. Miller will take on Ian Johnson and Nathaniel Langley. So I'll tell you what, Chad, I'm going to walk over there and make sure we can get one of these matches real quick. That way we don't have much more dead time. And uh, we'll take another break and be back here in just a little bit. I'll switch up the beats a little bit, give you guys some new tunes to listen to. See you in just a little bit.
righty, chat. Welcome back in. Final four matches of the evening. Got the Fredericksburg Cutters taking on the New Jersey Wise Guys. Going to see a little bit of a migration over here. Bust you up, Cornhole, checking in the chat. What's up, brother? Welcome in. I'm going to give a shout-out to Denny Mallon. Denny Mallon sending us some dollars to get some beverages. Appreciate that, Denny. I will probably buy coffee with it, not going to lie. Jake could use some coffee right now. He's over here sleeping. Oh, sorry, what? Wake up! What? Wake up! Because I wanted to. Landon Bass and Josh Quinn to make their way to the courts to take on Anthony D'Ambrosio and Alon Futterman. This is going to be a fun one. Which one's Alon? This one on the left hand. Looks like a ski ball for her. Yeah, right? It looks just like it. Exactly how I throw my ski balls. Yep. I got my own ski ball set, you know. What's up? I got my own ski ball set. Oh yeah. Yep. We got. That's pretty cool. Yep. Ten custom K9 unit ski balls. Can you go to K9Cornhole.com and check it out, or is it K9SkiBall.com? I believe it's Colorado Cornhole Connections hooked it up. Oh, are you being serious? No. Uh, you, okay. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> kind of cool though, wouldn't it? That would be pretty cool. All right, let's lock back in here. Landon Bass, Josh Quinn, Fredericksburg Cutters, Anthony D'Ambrosio, Elon Futterman for the Who you New going? Jersey Ringers. Who are you going for here? I don't know, man. I think I got to go for my cutters, bro. Oh, I gotta man. I got to go for my cutters. Josh Quinn, Landon Bass, two of the rising young stars in the game. That bag was rising off the back of the board. <laughs> <laughs> oh, got him. Sent to the stars. Got him. 2 nothing start over there on court 67. Ian Johnson and Nathaniel Langley in the lead over Paul Hallman and C.J. Miller. Meanwhile, here, 3-0 start for Anthony D'Ambrosio. Again, thanks to the sponsors coming in this weekend. Beard guys and bust you up cornhole. Chat, telling you, do me a favor. Check out bustyouupcornhole.com. Oh, yeah. Use that discount code WVA for 15% off. That's a four-bagger for Landon Bass. A two-spot, three to two. So Ian Johnson and Nathaniel Langley made the uh, broadcast at Myrtle? Yeah, not only made the broadcast, they are they were the champions of they high did, school. They did win it, okay. That's exciting. I went off to the right just a little bit. Again, chat, I don't know if uh, – oh, TikTok camera's wrong. Gotcha. Nice airmail. So, so is the main camera, huh? You shot that airmail? You shot that. Why did you shoot that? Anyway, uh, my bad on the camera. Seven nothing start over there on court sixty seven for Ian and Nathaniel now. Two nothing start though for Joe and Robert. So this match right here could be the determining one to figure out who goes to the championship. Social. Let's go. Cheers. Appreciate Denny Mallon for uh, hooking us up with some beverages. Did he really? Shut up, Denny Mallon. Mm -hmm. Stephanie, what up? Welcome in, baby. What's one non-sport sport that you wish you could be good at? Like a bar thing or backyard thing or something that's like... Darts. Just darts? I would love to be good at Sneaky darts. good at darts? What? I mean, it pulls a close second. 180. Going up again for the airmail. No, I'm it doesn't you, man, fall. I want to be the MC and just do only that. I don't want to do any of yeah, other stuff. Yeah, but you know how quickly you got to do that math? I don't want to do the, so No, I mean, quickly. that's what I'm saying. I don't want to do the intros. I just want to only do 
Double full bagger. <laughs> I think that's it. Let Burning do the rest of the stuff. Hey, Heber did it. What up, brother? Uh, on this? Yeah. Landon trying to go around to this bag. You're in, you're in the finals, right? Not me, Ma. It's just a new pair of spinners. Okay. That's my son, Forrest. Forrest, uh, Kevin. F O R E S T. Or you can just put the new pair of spinners in the finals, whatever. Wow, Landon cannot finish. Layup for the wash. Backside's open. He's going up. What's Hits the, the backside. Ski ball kid with a big time airmail. You said spinners? <laughs> 5 2 lead now for D'Ambrosio and Footerman. No problem, brother. Ian Johnson, Nathaniel Langley up 11-3. So that's looking like it's going to be a win for the Cutters. Social. She is. Only problem is you start running out of rounds after a while. Five to two here, eight rounds in. My Maryland boys, David Stone, Ryan Taylor up 6-2. If that holds, that would be the the series. This game wouldn't even matter. Well, that one's not over yet. It's eleven to three, though. Yeah. So they're in a commanding lead, but not yet. Whoa. Uh -oh. Row. Row, row. Gonna take a timeout. Ski ball kid trying to get hyped up. Anthony D'Ambrosio trying to get him back in the mood to put some points on the board. Big things on the line here. That one's going to stop a little bit short. It's going to force Landon to step out and try and use that little gap. Josh and wants him to slip through it. Yeah, there's already one on the ground. You don't want to get too cute here and only... Walk away with one point. He's put bags in now at this stage. You miss right. I just told him not to do that. He didn't listen. Oh, wow, what Good a collect. collect. Man, he can still go in for one. Yeah, I think it was a pretty self-explanatory situation there for Landon on the final, or in the last shot, rather. Gets one point there when he could have had more. Let's take a look at this replay one more again. One more again. Nice job there by the ski ball kid going down, getting underneath that front corner, lifting it up, and getting the collect. Shocking Landon in the process. That one too far to the right for Josh. It's looking like it may not even matter. Yeah, David Stone, Ryan Taylor have defeated their have won their game already. Twenty one to two. Ian Johnson, Nathaniel Langley up fifteen seven. It was looking like this match ain't going to matter. New pair of spinners waiting for the winner of this match. Between the Cutters and the Wise guys. David Stone and Ryan Taylor finish it off 21-2. And then Ian Johnson and Nathaniel Langley, Langley sorry, in the lead 15-9. They're coming back as Paul Hallman and C.J. Miller. Fine, yeah, final round though. This is the final round of this match as well. Landon has two bags hanging on that right side. Elon throws Whoopsie. it short. This is a situation, too, where they don't have all the information from the other yeah. matches. So you're just worrying about playing your game. Oh, he misses right. This is basically in to seal the win, right? Yeah, unless something crazy happens. He doesn't get it. Stop short. You, I mean, you lay up for the wash. 
on for a point. We're tied. We're going to overtime. Overtime? Even though it doesn't matter. Overtime. Cornhole. Hits the pile. Nothing falls. We're going to overtime. I'm not even going to tell them that the other match is over. Nope. So is, is the other is the third match over? This is the third match. Is the second match over? No. Still 59. First one's over, 21 to 2. Yeah. First bag in for each. The little left. Got out of play, but going to be tough. Josh Quinn puts it in. Nice, nice collect. collect. I said it first. Went a little Ooh. off to that right side, still in play. And now the young stud from Virginia is going to have to get this bag in the hole to stay in the game. And he does. Double OT. These guys are slinging. Who wants to score first? And they're going to fall just a little bit short. 15 to 11 wow. is the final over there. The Fredericksburg Cutters advance to the finals. If they don't know. They are in the heated heat of the moment. Hey, this is momentum right here. You want the sweep. Back block right. from Landon. Here we go. Do we see an airmail? No, he's going to try a reverse cut-ish. I don't know what that was. Damn, Landon just needs to basically go in here. Yep. Next two bags in the hole will seal the deal. There's one. This is in for the win. You're not in, you lose. Yeah, on the board is a loss. In the hole is the win. Deep breath. Bag away. Bass gets and it. goes. Nicely done. Clean. Slight, slightly awkward knuckles yep. there, but well done. Your cutters take it down. Clean sweep for the Virginia cutters, so it will be Virginia? the Virginia cutters. Fredericksburg. Fredericksburg cutters, sorry. And the new Paris spinners in the overall finals. We will see. We will be bringing you each of the three matches, and we will get that underway in just a second. Going to take our last, not our last, another commercial break. I'm just, it's just going deeper and deeper into the pit, Wally. It's getting worse and worse. Take a commercial break. We'll be right back with the finals of minor league teams. Okay, bye.
I'll bite. I got my Maryland dudes on the broadcast court. I got to go. Let's go. I Ryan win. Taylor, David Stone on the live stream. I win the game of chicken. Curtis Kearns making his way over here. Final match is set. Fredericksburg, Cutters, up, New Paris, Spinners. Heather in the chat, let's go. Colin Sebastian. Erica says, let's go, New Paris, Spinners. This will be, be a fun matchup. Oh, I'm excited, man. Let's go. I, mean, I think we're starting off with some heavy hitters right here. Sebastian Schaefer Ford, Cole Brewer. Top prospects for the Chicago Land Spinners. Not too familiar with the guys on the other side, though. David Stone and Ryan Taylor. Dogs. That's all I got to say. Absolute dogs. Um, D-A-W-G-S's. Ryan Taylor uh, on your left throwing against Sebastian Schaefer Ford. Uh, played in the pro qualifier last year. Finished four points away from becoming a pro. Fell to Ernest Monarca in the final Jeez. round. I can't imagine anything worse than coming four points away from being a pro. Yeah, thanks, bud. On this side, David Stone. Uh, he actually played with Tyler Tomberlin in the USA Forces uh, broadcast at one of the Nationals. I believe they made it to the championship game before losing. So David Stone, no stranger to the lights. And obviously Cole Brewer, he's playing against 2023, Nas 2022, excuse me, National College Cornell singles champion, Nat 2023 runner-up. If I'm not mistaken, Cole Brewer, one point away two years in a row. Yeah, from becoming a pro. <laughs> from qualifying as a pro. Yep. Lost to, I think, Cameron Belvin, which already had her spot locked up, if I'm not yep. mistaken. Yep. And then last year, um, can't remember his name, Dominique, right? Dominic. Um, Sinelli? Yep. Donovan, Donovan Sinelli. That's what I said. Sometimes my accent makes it sound weird, but. Yeah. Stone misses the airmail. Brewer goes up, hits his air mail, hits an airmail of his own. David can go in for two. That yep. works. Just how we drew it up. The lily Just pad. Just how we drew Just it up. Just kind of hopped on top. Uh, that's a way to start for the Virginia. Let's go. We are the underway. The Frenchburg Cutters. That's what I said. You're not listening. It's not, this is not pro teams, man. I know. They got their own jerseys over there in New Paris. Ryan Taylor, close friend of mine. Hang out with him all the time. Happy to see him succeeding on the broadcast court. Going up against arguably one of the tallest dudes in Cornhole. Barely fits on our screen. Sebastian Schaefer Ford. Did a Royal Rumble pool with him in January. Yeah. I, I thought I had a shot. Me too. Oh, man. Ryan throws a six. Schaefer Ford can go in four six. And it drips in. Bloop. I know, Ashley. I know. I keep getting them mixed up. I don't know why, because I haven't had a problem saying any other team. This is our 16 for us, though, so we're a little tired. Yeah, we've been here since about 6.45 this morning, so we're going on our 17 here. Ashley Kearns, what up? You are going to find out today, Wally, oh, who they is. Cole gets that one in, spins David's bag a little bit closer. Stepping out, going after it. Oh, no, misses left. God, that Maryland flag looks so cool, doesn't it? Such a pretty flag. Where's the Maryland flag? In the four of his jersey. Nah, I'm good on it. Best state flag in the world. Cole Brewer tries to go through it, knocks in David's bag. And David can escape this round with a watch with the bag on the board. Yeah, that's what it does. Wow, that bag doesn't fall. That was close. This is the finals, overall finals of minor league teams, best of three series. This is game number one, Fredericksburg Cutters, the new Paris Spinners. Not to be confused with the old Paris Spinners. Actually, it's, uh, according to Google, the coolest flag in the United States is New Mexico. Google's wrong. <laughs> Ryan, nice cut around there. What does Schaefer Ford want to do? This is a tough angle. Oh, he spins it. 
in front of the hole, but goes off the back. Ryan wants to sit perfect. Schaefer, oh, what a cut around. Beautiful bag. See if Ryan goes aggressive and goes after it. He's just going to try to go around it and misses left and ends up giving up another point. Colorado has the best flag. You're wrong. New Mexico here, you're wrong. No, you're wrong. Yeah, let's go, Tony. My bad. This is, the, this is the hill I will absolutely <laughs> die on. <laughs> but man, let me see what the Maryland flag looks like. I'll rate it on a scale of 1 to 10 for you. It's not a 10. You're wrong. Cole misses it to the left again. David looking to take advantage again. Is that it? Yeah, baby, that's money right there. This looks like if you like line this in one of those padded rooms, you would go insane in two minutes. No, stop it. Well, what's the what's the uh, the Missouri State flag? Oh no! I don't live in Missouri. Hey, yeah, do. <laughs> you can't tell me where I live. That's a five spot for David Stone getting the cutters back into this one. Tie bag game. Round six. Don't worry about it. Sebastian says. Quick little PPR check, 6-3-3 for Cole. Dave Stone with an 8-6-7. Ryan with a 6. Sebastian Schaefer for the 9.5. So we're on a teeter-totter here. Going back and forth, back and forth. Double D, Damon Dennis. Hanging out over here to my right. Just chilling. All nice looking bag. at a close matchup. Championship match here to decide it. Ryan going to try to sneak in right side. Misses right. He cannot find it. And that ends up being a wash. What was looking like points for Ryan Taylor ends up being nothing. Yeah, it's only round seven, but at what stage do you want to get aggressive here? Take those risky shots. Crowd starting to gather around. Biggest crowd we've had since pro teams. It's First like back. a pro teams crowd only a little bit, maybe more... I guess minor, I guess. Yeah. Good back, David, so. perfect back block. And a replacement nice tap, block yeah. from Cole Brewer. Alex, Alex Lepard, please set your lineup. Wait on your games. Alex, set your lineup, please. Good back. David Stone is locked in. That's a, no, it's a 10. We'll see if Cole can get a little sneaky. This would be a momentum shift for him. And he it does, beautiful done. bag. And that will give New Paris the lead. 9-7, round number eight. Perfect placement on that one. Landing right on the N and the E in the red zone. Gets the drip. Round number eight, Sebastian's first toss. Bloop. Just enough. Yeah, that bag was still moving, and Ryan's back swinging yeah, and affected him. Four bagger, four Schaefer, four guaranteed two, and that's what it'll be. Two rounds remaining, a four-point deficit for the Fredericksburg Cutters. And here's the pressure rounds. Final four bags for the guys over here on the right. Cole Brewer been here before. Big stage. Trying to get a read on David, but I can't really tell. He's kind of stone-faced right now. First bag block from Cole. We'll see what David wants to do here. Because his last name is Stone. Face, don't face. I chose to ignore it. Oh. And I need acknowledgement after 16 hours, man. Oh. <laughs> Ill, <laughs> Ill advised airmail right there. You don't need to go for that, being yeah, up no. four points. Too aggressive. David thinking, yeah, he's, he's indecisive. He's going to take a timeout. I mean, you have a couple of options yeah, you here. Can't, can't take the timeouts with you. Might as well use them. I mean, what are you thinking? Do you, go, you try to go through this? Knowing if you kick left or right, you're, you may give up more points. I don't mind this one if you're going after a slick side. 
I mean, I mean you can try to roll over it. But I don't think you're going to be able to get all of it in one, but if you even push through and move the other bag closer and then just kind of slip in, that's fine. You're still up one point in the round. Still got a bag left to collect. He's actually got two bags left to collect after this. I like, I like going for it now. Yeah, uh, worst case scenario, you miss left or right. The bag on the board does not fall while Cole's does. Mm. And then Cole can lay a back block on his next bag and make David's next shot even more difficult. Staying sticky. I wonder if he's going to go try to cut it. No, he's going up, and he goes off the back. I like the push. It was a little bit safer yeah. play. Again, last four bags they get to throw. Cole gives it back again. Why is he shooting air mails? Up four with two rounds to go. Lay behind. Too aggressive. Big crowd maybe. Got to gotta play smart. David going after this bag. Sticky side down, and there he collects it, it. And that's what makes that air mail last round for David even more frustrating. Yep. Just missed off the situation. The other thing you got to take into consideration is Sebastian Schaefer Ford over here. On the left-hand side, has been lights out. He's throwing a 9.75 right now in this game. It's a David lot of pressure. Stone. Oh, man, that's a huge difference. It could have been one, and now it's three, and now you're hoping. Sebastian's yeah, got to be off the board. Yeah. I mean, Ryan hasn't been throwing his best, so it's going to be even harder for him to score here. It is Ryan's first bag. I don't know if oh, he does know. Okay. Just relax, man. Just relax. He's taking his time. Oh, that's a start. That's a start. You need to get a block. He does a good job. But again, Schaefer Sebastian's steps out. Just gotta at least have, you know, everything on the board. Yeah. Good nice job around. sneaking around. Ryan collects it, but now you have an open board, which should be relatively simple. I like the collect there on bag number two. He's got a fire blocker here on bag three, though. He does. He does it again. Perfect. Back block here from Sebastian. Could seal the deal. I, I would have liked to uh Sorry, Taylor's blocker to be a little bit higher. Now you got to yeah. rodeo it in. And this would be an incredible shot. It's going to take another timeout. I mean, it's pretty simple. You, if you go in clean, you gotta all Sebastian has to do is lay up. You have to rodeo it. You have to land short and try to grab that bag. Yeah, I think that's way too hard of a bar of soap, especially how the back corner is underneath yeah. the other bag. That takes the bar of soap out of it for me. I mean, Taylor throws a flat enough bag where this is entirely possible. Short line drive air mail, you land on top of that gray and red bag and ride it into the hole. Again, just going back to that last round, if he... You know, if Stone's able to pick up more than a point that last round, this is simple. You shoot the airmail. That's what Ryan's thinking. He's thinking either rodeo or try to step out. I don't think a step out's the right call here. I like a rodeo. He's stepping out, though. That is a hard collect with only a baby portion of that corner of the bag. Going at it. Oh, it does not work. Schaefer doesn't even need to throw the bag. A great first game. It results in the new pair of spinners taking it down and winning game one. Good effort from Ryan and David. But that's all she wrote. All right, y'all, quick commercial break. When we come back, game number two, minor league finals between the new pair of spinners and the Fredericksburg Cutters. Don't go away.
Welcome back in, ladies and gentlemen. Tridelphia, West Virginia. Game two of the minor league team's finals between the new pair of spinners and the Virginia Cutters. No, I did it again. The Fredericksburg Cutters. This guy. New Can't Paris. Get it right. New Paris with a 1 0 series lead. So if they win this one, it is over. Representing the new pair of spinners in this one, we got Kevin Marsh and Rico Martinez. Representing. The cutters, we got Ian Johnson and Nathaniel Langley. Kevin Marsh, one of the best throws in the game. It's a little flick. A little flick of the wrist sometimes. That's how you get rid of a kid real quick. What he said? I farted. Oops. And he walked over. He said, you fart? I said, yes. And then he walked away. And we're live. Chat. <laughs> Welcome back. Hey, this is uh, Jake Brandon. This is Jake late Brandon, night. everybody. This is late night with Jake and Wally. <laughs> I don't give a toot. Yeah, apparently ah. you did. Easy mojo, easy. That was just down and back. So they are alive now. Too far to the right on that one. Nathaniel Langley, Ian Johnson, National High School Doubles Champions. Took them down on ESPN. Great game. It's going to be a possible four spot for Rico Martinez. Oh, and it just sits. I don't even think you should throw this. I mean, I think if you land on the board, they're falling. I think you throw it away, give up three. Yeah, he's got room. Front of the board, he's fine. Don't give up three in round limited format. If you go through, you're giving up four. If you try to lay up and they fall, you're giving up six. No, nah, it would be okay. Worst case scenario, yeah? Well, why don't you go throw that back, huh? I would have. This is uh, Kevin Marsh. He has a really unique throw, I would nice. say. Nice little flick, man. That's all it takes. Oh, wet bag off the back. It looks like Rico was telling him to calm down a little bit. Don't get too aggressive here. Oh, nice collect by Ian. He has whole control. Same thing. He can collect all three of these. Oh, he Misses. missed left. Just to the left a little bit. Looked like he rushed it a little. Oh, is that Rico? Excuse me. I got I got my names mixed up. That was on me. So this is Kevin Marsh down here. What? Oh, this is Kevin? This is Kevin. I yeah. apologize. Way to go, dude. What's wrong with you? I think I did the same thing. 17 hours. My apologies, guys. I'm getting yelled at by guys in the stands telling me I'm wrong. Yeah, you should have had it right. That's my bad. This is Kevin Marsh. Ian wants Nathaniel to sit. Sit. Oh, little teammate in. turmoil here. Dun, dun, dun. A lot on the line here, man. And he misses left, and this is in for two, and it is. I mean, that's a youngster situation right there. If you guys do not agree on the throw, do not just shake your head in disbelief yeah. and argue about it. Call a timeout. Talk it out. Again, you can't take the timeouts with you. Too important of a situation. 
I don't think it's ever actually been discussed. I mean, I still believe you're allowed the same amount of timeouts in <laughs> round limited four, format. Four timeouts and doubles. Yeah, it doesn't matter if it's 21 or to, to 10 rounds. Man, Ian and Nathaniel have some work to do. New Paris is a win away from taking it down. I'm not sure. Do we? Do you know if uh, if New Paris wins this one? Are we showing the third game or not? I don't know. Okay. That's a good question. That's for the directors. Well, we, I'm really, really no reason to uh, play it out. I'll ask him. Go ahead and ask him. I'll, let you, I'll allow it. This is a big shot. Somebody in the crowd saying, come on, man, they don't want it. We will find out how bad they want it. Roll, landed deep, stays on the board. Frustration kicking in right now for me, and these boys need to hug it out. Big time. A lot of MAC players in the background cheering them on. Heavy mid-Atlantic cornhole support. It's a third bag block. We'll see what Langley does here. There's still plenty of time in this game. They're oh only down no. by four points. And now it's looking like it could be seven. Great push. It's guaranteed to be seven. Somebody in the background there calling for a timeout. I think they're going to take it. He <laughs> needs to breathe. My man is down here fuming. Yeah. Yeah, Ian Johnson is not a happy camper right now, and it is showing on his face. New pair of spinners already have their taste. It was second place finished. I'm talking to Danny Seals, that he does not want that again. Too far to the left. Another bag down and in. Good nice collect. push through. <laughs> Curtis in the background trying to play the mind games from the crowd. It looks like it might be working. This could be in for four. Too far to the left. Gets a couple out of it. Stays on the board. Round number seven. Look at that collect one more time there from Johnson. Eight three. Round eight. Three rounds remain. Ian wants Nathaniel to sit this. And he does. Perfect. Here we go. He's going up. Off the back. Here we go. You ain't giving him the choice, roll or shoot. I like a roll here. Kevin still has whole control. He's going to go roll. Gets the roll. Big hit. Big momentum switch. Going up. Hits the airmail clean. Ken Langley hit the roll again. This may blow the roof off the place. One more time. No, off the back, Buddy pushes his bag in the hole. I think this is just board for giving up three, yeah, right? Board, no, board for a wash. Oh, his wash? His yeah. one off two? Yeah, yeah. Uh, ooh. ooh, I don't like that call. Ooh, he wants him to shoot it. Super aggressive. Up five points with no way. less than 12 bags to no throw? No way. Oh, he gets it, but he drags wow. the wrong bag, so it'll still result in a wash. I mean, that was risky just wow. to even take that shot. I don't know if I liked it, but either way, the big Nine. roll right there from Nathaniel. You can see the crowd in the background just going yeah. crazy. Five-point game round number nine. Two rounds remaining. This is the last time these two will throw. Ian Johnson misses the block. Love the MAC support here, man. Oh, beautiful rollover, getting all control. We're all talking them into it, but I think this is pretty much it. Yeah, this is going to be tough. 
Unless something huge happens on the other end. We're just doing some damage control. Big shot to save the game at least for one more round. But Nathaniel looks like he's going to have to make up at least seven points. Yep, and that's what it'll be going into the last round. It's 10-3. Ian Johnson, Nathaniel, Lang well, Nathaniel Langley needs to manufacture seven or it's it. This is it. I do believe we will still bring you game three after this, even though it won't matter. I'm going to vote for all air mails. I mean, do they keep uh, track of standings for minor league teams too? I'm not sure. It, may. So it, may, it might matter then. Oh, here we go. Good back block. Got to hit a – I mean, I got to hit a cool bar of soap here. I mean, it's it's Why unlikely, not? but it's possible. Oh, he it's takes a to get everything. Yeah, and that's going to do it. Yeah, it came How out a little bit too wobbly to get yeah. underneath it. Kevin Marsh, Rico Martinez, clinch. Minor league teams for the new Paris Spinners. Congratulations. Good run by Ian and Nathaniel but it will ultimately come short, come up short. We're going to show you the final match coming up, so don't go away. One more match of the evening. We're almost done, Wally. One, One more. more. Don't go away. Ladies, Ladies and, and gentlemen, gentlemen welcome boys back. and girls, ACL Nation and Cornhole fans everywhere, this is the final match of the evening. We made it, yeah. Wally. The Chicago Land Spinners minor league affiliate from New Paris have sealed the deal and taken down the championship, but we got some cool stuff to be had. You can see Landon right there bouncing bags off the mat. They're going to have a little bit of fun in this one. The only thing we got left to do is 10 rounds of fun. And then we can call it a night. A little sleepy sleep. Before we head back tomorrow, Jake over here putting his mic on mute trying to influence this matchup. We're, we're here to have fun. Wally. For those of you who, who are not aware, Wally and I arrived to the venue at 6.30 this morning. Uh-huh. It is now going on 11.30 p.m. Uh -huh. For those of you who aren't good at math, that's 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16, 16. That's 17 hours uh -huh. going on. So, yeah, last match of the day. Let's Exciting. have some fun and let's get out of here, huh? Yeah, and also let's go check out bustyupcornhole.com. How about that? 
I like it. I'm going to rock my Bust You Up jersey tomorrow. Well, looks like they are taking they your advice. They are 100% going all air mails. All air mails. Boom. Quick We're going to have some fun. Boom. Boom. Oh, nope. Nope, nope. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sony in the chat says air mail. Let's go. Boom. Ooh, ah. room's out. Just take it off the board. No. <laughs> touch, it oh. out of, touch it out of turn. It's 12 points. No, I'm just <laughs> Nobody wants that. New pair of spinners. 2-0 star for Josh Quinn and Landon Bass. Going against Dangerous Danny Seals and Forrest Legowski. Wow, they really are going to go all air mails this game. Hope you're proud of yourself. Boom, one landed one. up one. Landing up two. Landing, Landing up three. three. There you go, some damage control. That's going to be a <laughs> six spot, eight to nothing. For those of you just joining us, this is the minor league team's final. However, New Paris has won the first two games, so really this game does not matter much. So the teams have decided to go all airmail. In the final, Josh is one for one. Dangerous Danny Seals answers one for one. <laughs> Danny's doing a good job of missing and then staying at least on the board. Oh, nice bag. Josh, oh, off the back. They had a chance for an and three yeah. today, Chad, against Jake. Oh, I know. He hits it clean. It was a nice shot. You hit the air mail, though. I did. I, I even nicked your bag. If I would have gone a little bit higher, I think I might have been able to at least get two of them. 8-3 right. lead for Landon and Josh. Such a weird score for air mail only. Right? <laughs> Bags are landing <laughs> on the board. Here we go. Come on. Give us the round we want. Come on. Give us the 8 Boom. for 8. Boom. Give us the 8 for 8. Oh, oh, Landon sold. Landon. Boom. The Glowski goes four for four. Landon threw his legs and gives up six and gives up the lead. Lee changed nine <laughs> to eight. Uh, we're having fun here. Last match of the day going on 1130 East Coast time. Man, tonight's daylight savings night, too. We're losing an hour of sleep. That's wrong, actually. What do you mean? Is it Saturday into Sunday? Yep. It's tonight's sat Today's Friday. Today's Friday, chat. Learned that just now. It's been 84 years. It's been 84 years. I'm glued to this chair. Yeah, we're at that point now. We're 12 on, 12 on nothing is game. Oh, man. <laughs> That's Let's eight go. straight air mails for the new pair of spinners. This match's got to be in. It's, <laughs> it's not all it's in. over. What A the heck? <laughs> spot for dangerous Danny Seals. Whoa. Seals the deal. <laughs> How See about later. that? He was all about the airmail show, but then <laughs> dangerous Danny Seals with a 12 spot. Wow. Takes it down. Forrest Glagowski and dangerous Danny Seals at eight straight airmails to clinch it. That is a clean sweep for the new pair of spinners, and that is a wrap on day number one of Open 11. Now we got to get the cool vibes. Yeah, we're going to end with all the replays from the day. It looks like we got 1,086 of them. Not sure what number we started on, <laughs> but we'll end with the replays. Have you guys enjoyed the show? If you have, make sure you hit the thumbs up on the way out. Show some love to those who show love to us, Beard Guys and Busty Up Cornhole. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Doubles action, 4 p.m. Eastern time. There you go. Peace.